Hi, this is David once again, and in this video I'm going to show you what's new in version 2.03 of VO Pro. Okay, first if I drag the Modify Orders script onto the screen, uh, we can see here the, all the usual we've got that we've got three orders um, placed. This is scaling into a trade uh, with um, different profit targets. Okay, the, the new field we have here is to show the RR totals. So what happens is if I click that on, um, these values here change so that they now reflect the total risk and reward over the um, total of the three positions, and that's why that's the same on each of the on each of the three lines there. So in other words, it's saying that the total uh, return, that is, if all three of these trades were to enter and all three were to make the profit targets, respectively. Uh, we would have uh, gained 316 pips or $897 or 8.83% 8 of our account or the average uh, return to risk is 3.02 is over the three trades. So we can just toggle that on and off uh, as we wish and we can also um, perform a kind of what if and ask the question what would happen to the, the total risk and reward if we were to uh, if we were to move any one of the lines we can see the total changing okay the second thing I'd like to demonstrate is we now have our totals down here in this area of the screen for the uh, orders list window and this is showing the the total of number of pending orders the number of open orders and the profit and loss of, of all of the orders uh, we can then go on and select some orders. So let's say, for example, I choose the Swiss franc, US dollar Swiss franc trade there, and uh, click plus pair to show all of the, highlight all of the US dollar Swiss franc trades. And we can see there that despite the fact that all of our orders are in profit to the tune of $10.26, um, our Swiss franc orders are in fact, which are two, are actually a total of loss of $10.61. So we can select any of the trades up here that we like in the usual fashion and the, the totals of the number of pending and open orders and profit and loss for those selected will show down here. Okay, the third thing that we've done is um, we've fixed a shortcoming in the system where uh, previously it was only possible to um, trade if the account uh, was denominated in dollars. Um, it's now possible through the trade risk field here to have accounts that are denominated in pounds, uh, euros or yen. So for example if I click on the wizard here uh, we can now see that we can set the trade risk um, in any of these new denominations. So let's say for example I set a risk of 100 euros and you can see the result pasted back in there. Uh, if I now go down to um, these uh, fields down here and click the, the wizard you can see that uh, these, these uh, buttons here and the text has now been changed from dollars to euros so everything's now in euros. Um, the only other thing that you will need to likely need to change is if we go to the settings screen here uh, is the, the currency here field here, you also need to change that manually. So if I click on the wizard there, I can simply change the floating currency symbol to euros and we're all done. So now if I go to my chart here and create a new order, uh, you can see that the, the um, settings are all in, in euros rather than dollars. Okay, and the final thing that uh, I'd like to demonstrate here is uh, very simple. We've now added a new button here, which uh, if you click on that, it uh, brings up the full uh, MT4 color palette of 132 different colors. And we can see how those would look on a, by either a black background or a white background by clicking these buttons. So if you're looking to change the, uh, the colors of the lines and text on the screen, uh, you can use this as, as a guide. Okay, that completes everything for this video, what's new in version 2.03. Thanks very much for watching. For more information about VO Pro, please visit the webpage shown here. Thank you.